Yeah, hi. Then it's really cool to have this interaction with you people. I really appreciate thoughtful comments. So much to learn still, like, you know, it's amazing. It's fascinating. Uh, I was watching a bit windy and this is La Palma. And I noticed something really neat. Or did they already dissipate? No, they didn't. Check this out. Yeah, we go a bit closer in really shortly. But you can see the waves which go here. At least they seem like waves, but as we go closer in, you notice these kind of vortices. I thought that's really cool. And here you can see those cloud streaks. And obviously they are moving in this direction. And afterwards we have those islands and this might be just some... What? Wind turbulences creating those spirals. Basic thermodynamics probably. But one thing about those streaks here. I wanted to point out, but then we have to go to, to some map, which in this case is now Google Earth. And before we had those streaks, and those streaks of clouds, they were exactly in those positions what we have here. So it's no coincidence that they just have been there where they were. Now to something completely different. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to show you an earthquake. Sorry for whistling again. It happened somewhere here and it's gone. 7,088 earthquakes. Whoa! It's gone. No, it's not. I found it. Here. 12 hours ago, 27 kilometers in depth. Near the city of Bern. And that's the village where it happened. At Zikofe. Where's the picture? No picture. So more. So we cannot reach that. This would be interesting. But anyway, that's at Zikofe in Switzerland. And there is a water vein here. And I haven't figured out yet where it's coming from. I guess somewhere from here. And not far from the place, we have some caves, obviously.
Whoa. Forest. Check it out. We are not alone. <laughs> crop circle. I found caves in the crop circle. Yeah, somebody doing it. Yeah, but that's a really cool location. Didn't knew about that. Seems to be sandstone. Rhyolithic lava. Cryptodomes. Probably. Yeah, modern graffiti. Maybe once upon a time there was something really special there, but as people are. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> Are you kidding me? They're really doing crop circle in front of the caves or what? <laughs> yeah, water. Limestone water, it's bluish, greenish. Yeah, I have to once figure out more about that. This seems really soft. Since everyone is putting some mark in there and you can see layering. This might be some peat layer or something. I don't know. Yeah, bridge is going over water. That was really cool. Thanks, Google Earth. I wanted to show you that. I haven't noticed this earlier, but that's the city of Bern. 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 The capital of Switzerland. <clears throat> and if you watch at the river, how it's bending here. Does it even make here a turn? Maybe you just should make it clean. No. You know, I think that's a really special place. <laughs> That's an amazing geological spot. I happen to notice this just today. And I have been there and here it's like really steep. Well, probably you can see it like from here up here. It's really steep. Maybe we have some pictures somewhere. Also here you cannot really see it. Isn't there any picture of that? A usable picture. Yeah, somewhat you can see it in the background. It's almost vertical. 
which I think is really interesting. And we have a somewhat Saturnian garden, which is of course a holy place. Here are just a few funny pictures. There was this news about translucent glass balls found on the far side of the moon. And it was this kind of application. They provide all kinds of science news. And I tried many times to read the article, but I didn't have permission to read that. So I didn't read it. <laughs> Access denied. Why? First they make a commercial that, yeah, we have these news and come over, check it out. Yeah, but you don't have access to it. What? There was some new candies in the shop and I thought that now that's a candy, that's an eye candy. Is there any message in those candies for the people? Yeah, check it out. Look up to the sky, you see the same thing as you were eating a few weeks ago. There's something going on. A Birkeland candy. There is a spoon. And obviously there's something in it, it's not too much. Just a few teardrops. About, I don't know, two weeks ago or something, I had this experience once again about being mind blown. I don't know how to explain that, but mind blow, having this mind blowing experience is somehow the thing which fits the best. And since tears are made of different kinds of things, according to the reasons why you cry, are you sad, angry, do you feel pain or whatever, they are made differently. And I thought that once if I would have this thing again, this having mind blowing, just like crying because of that, I will take some tears and try to send it to someone. Could you take a look at those? What's in those? Is there anything special in those? <laughs> but this is as far as I came this time. <laughs> So they dried up and basically they're gone. But at least I had a teaspoon full of mind blown tears once. Yeah, and I don't know to whom I could send them or Maybe I have to get some, you know, those glasses from laboratory if it happens ever again, because I don't know when it happens and I don't know if it will ever happen again. I have no idea and I don't know whom to tell about that because how to put it, someone could think you're crazy. But I don't think so. And, uh, yeah, it would have been interesting, but let's see. Maybe one day <laughs> I can bring those tears to a laboratory and they can tell me what's in them. And then I could maybe compare it to some scientific results from studying of tears of people because after all I think it's a discharge event 
something matters. So some emotion, some understanding of something, probably. I don't know. Of what I'm talking at the moment, I just can tell how it feels in a way. It's, uh, yeah, profound, really, really, really nice. And it just happens. And I cannot tell you what, what the thing is or was which triggered it. I have no idea. But something transformed into matter, literally, because here's the proof. Tears. It's matter. You can see it, even though it's just a picture, but you still can see it. There's a drop of something in the spoon. Yeah, I just, I don't know. It's amazing. Hmm. Yeah, what to do with that? Whom to tell? What? Some dude gathers tears from being mind blown. Yeah. I really do. It's a pity that I didn't got that further because, you know, you cannot make it by yourself, this experience. It's not just a feeling, it's an experience. It's much more than just a, you know, a feeling of anger, being sad, anxious, whatever. It's amazing. Thanks. I leave it now here. There could be endless things to still talk about. There is still endless things to talk about. So, yeah, thanks. Bye.